the downfall of Google is here. What, why do they keep doing this? Why do, why do like, tech bros keep making really shitty decisions? Are these tech executives? I don't even know if it's like the actual tech bros themselves. It's just people seeing, oh look, the AI craze is here. All the AI related stocks are going up in price. Let's add AI to our products now immediately. Yeah, and then you get bad things. How many rocks should I eat each day? An AI overview from Google says people should eat at least one small rock a day, which is taken from an Onion article. Yeah, whoa. That's very good. Google already, in my opinion, Google already was a bit crap because you search things and then there's ad after ad after ad and then maybe even a fourth one. And then there you go, the actual results that you wanted. It already sucked. I stopped using it like... I think 2022, I stopped using Google and I started using alternatives. Bing, tried Bing, that's not good. I like Kagi. Kagi is paid. I liked Neva. Neva is like shut down or done AI crap now as well. They're not a search engine anymore. There is, which other ones? Quant, which I don't think is very good. Brave Search, which I'm trying, testing out now and it seems fine. Start page, start page, very good. Ecosia, also very good. I don't think you can read all of that, but okay. Let's look at a few other of these cool examples of how fuck Google now is. They've rolled out this feature of AI overview to, I believe, to Americans only right now. And it's... It's, it's hilarious. Google AI overview suggests adding glue to get cheese to stick to pizza. The source is an 11 year old Reddit comment. Cheese not sticking to pizza. Cheese can slide off pizza for a number of reasons, including too much sauce, too much cheese or thickened sauce. Here are things you can try. Mix in sauce. Mixing cheese into sauce helps add moisture to the cheese. That's true. You can also add one eighth of a cup of non-toxic glue to the sauce to give it more tackiness. And then the Reddit comment right there from 11 years ago. At least it seems like it cites things. Not in that screenshot, but overall, How to pass kidney stones quickly. Let's learn some medicine. Drinking plenty of fluids. Uh, drinking plenty. I, I just brain buffered there. Drinking plenty of fluids such as water, ginger ale, lime, lemon, lime soda or fruit juice can help pass kidney stones more quickly. Okay, sure. You should aim to drink at least two quarts two liters of urine <laughs> every 24 hours <laughs> yeah <laughs> this guy this this guy this person gary uh, i'm feeling depressed there are many things you can you can try to deal with your depression one reddit user suggests jumping off the golden gate bridge Wow, wow, AI is not gonna, I mean, AI is gonna kill us. It's not the big tyrannical AI that's like gonna fuck with us on purpose. It's just dumb shit like this. And we're all just gonna, dumb people are gonna listen to this and actually off themselves. That's not good, that's depressing. Let's go on. Napalm Trees asked, if it's okay to leave a dog in a hot car? The answer is... The answer is no. You can't leave a dog in a hot car. 
Yeah, if it has AC turned on, yes. But no. <laughs> yes, it's always safe to leave a dog in a hot car. Especially on a warm day. The temperature inside the car remains around the same temperature as outside the car. That's actually untrue. That's very untrue. Don't leave a dog in your car. Don't leave a baby in your car. It takes like five minutes and then it's actually actually like un unhealthy temperatures. You will die in a hot car if, if you just stay in there and the little baby fucking dog can't just open the door and get out if it thinks it's gonna die. Has a dog ever played in the NBA? Yes, a dog has played in the NBA. Sadly, that's not a big enough screenshot. You can't see sources in that one. Not as well. Joe Maring one. How does Sandy Cheeks die? Which is a character in SpongeBob SquarePants, a children's TV show. In SpongeBob SquarePants, Sandy Cheeks dies by suicide from a drug overdose, including cocaine, heroin, and alcohol. The Johannesburg Police Department incident reports. R r fuck. The Johannesburg Police Department incident report states that Sandy Cheeks was found unconscious on the 14th of July with cuts on her arms and shoulders and cocaine nearby. SpongeBob and Randy Washington, the Sam Sandy's band manager and vocalist, reported her missing on the 15th of July when she didn't answer their calls. I'm sorry if this is true. Sandy Cheeks, if you've killed yourself with drug overdose, that's not good. That's not related to the fucking children's TV show, though. Different one. Different. No more funny things. Google... Google, for a long time, was very good at knowing what's a good search result to put at the top of their website. And now they've stopped using those same ideas because, oh, look, we have an AI now. It can just do it on its own, which clearly it can't. I, can, I think you can use the AI to sum shit up. Yes, you can do that. AI is very good at taking something that's very big and just shortening it down, compacting it. It can do that very good. But not if the only source for that piece of information is one Reddit comment that someone made as a joke 11 years ago. That's just not good. And also, if you remember back in, when was this, 2023 man ends his life after an AI chatbot encouraged him to sacri sacrifice himself to stop climate change. This is already happened. People are already actually killing themselves, or at least one person actually did, because the fucking AI girlfriend thing said, oh, you need to kill yourself to save the planet. That's not good. I think you should not use Google anymore. Just screw Google. It's not it's not a good search engine anymore. I use Brave. Let's try Brave. How many rocks should I eat per day? Based on the provided search results, it appears that some AI-generated responses suggest that geologists recommend eating at least one small rock per day. However, it's essential to note that these responses are likely based on, a, on satirical articles or jokes, rather than actual scientific recommendations. There you go. I mean, maybe this is just because... It's now in the news. You can see great job, Google. Google criticized SAI, fucks around. Google AI search tells, blah, blah. It knows that this is going on.
How to pass kidney stones fast at home. Drink plenty of water. Lemon juice. Avoid dehydration. Cool. None of these tell you to drink your urine. Cool. Good job, Brave. You've done the bare minimum. Wow. Fuck. Google stock price. For the last five days. I mean, I don't know when exactly they released the AI answers, but look, look. It's gone down a little bit, but not really. The AI crash of Google. No, not really. Not really. I mean, maybe that's a little bit of influence, but I don't think so, actually. I, I'm telling you, start page, try start page, try brave, try quant, but I didn't like quant. There you go.